What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing AV edition of Superhero and I bring you another video here on the Modern Ninja channel. Now, before I start, it is way too cold, give me a second. Alright, yeah, that's much better. It is, it's Texas, but it's still too cold. Now, I don't think this is going to be a mainstay series on the channel. I think it's just going to be like a couple episode mini series here on my channel. But I was reading about some martial arts, doing some research for some more What is Martial Arts episodes. Links down in the description if you want to see some of those. And I came across some myths that people believe about martial arts. And so I decided that I would kind of take some of those myths and break them down for you to tell you what's up. So let's get into it. So the first myth we have, the myth of the legendary ancient martial art that is absolutely the best and will defeat anything if learned by a true master. Basically what the myth boils down to is the fact that people think there is some ancient martial art that is centuries and centuries old and it is the absolute best martial art and it, it's, you know, it's gonna beat everything, it'll beat everyone no matter what. Uh, it is just the top. Let me let me break this down into three easy words for you guys. It's not real. You are fake news. Guys, everything grows and evolves with time. For example, phones came a long way from the ancient dinosaurs they used to be to the relative supercomputers that can fit in your pocket. Transportation went from horse and buggy to cars that can go faster than sound. Martial arts is no different in that respect. I am not saying ancient martial arts have nothing to add to the martial arts you know, world. And I'm not saying anyone that learns ancient martial arts is not a good martial artist. However, all martial arts has learned, evolved, and changed throughout the years. Whether things have been added, tweaked, or just completely revamped to create new martial arts. The most ancient martial art is probably gonna be caveman with either sticks or rocks bashing people in the head. I just killed a 700 pound tiger with a stick and a rock. And that form of combat has changed and evolved into thousands and thousands of different martial arts brands. Everything is learning from each other. Everything um, evolves. Even traditional forms like Tong Sudo Mudokwan, the form that I do, and I just actually did a video on it, has taken parts of different styles of martial arts and taken things that people have brought into the art and evolved over time. It has changed over time. So for a lot of martial arts, the ancient elite martial art that it used to be that people have in their head is really just the less evolved version of what people train today. Now part of this myth is true. So there are many secret styles of martial arts throughout human history. Particularly in Asia where many martial arts styles were straight out banned until the existence of gunpowder in the 19th century. However, it's 2019 now. So most of those secret styles are now available to the public due to them not being illegal anymore. Now I'm not saying all the styles are super easy to find and there's a school for all of them near you. That's not true at all. However, with a little bit of digging and a little bit of research, you could find basically any martial art that suits your fancy. Whether you want to use it for health, self defense, sport, or any other use for it. However, just keep in your mind that whether you're doing Tong Soo Do, Taekwondo, Judo, Jiu Jitsu, Kung Fu, it is a evolved version an advanced version of the ancient form that it became, that it started out being. Guys, I hope you like this video. If you want to see more, definitely let me know down in the comments. And while you're down there, tell me what is your favorite style of martial arts? What is your uh, most, whether you know it or don't know, it doesn't matter whether you want to learn it or, or I've already mastered it. What is your favorite style of martial arts? But with all that said, don't forget to like and subscribe because that really helps me and helps out this channel. My name is DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out.